Well, the fact that you're still here and watching finance related videos in the bear market of 2022, really congratulations for you. You're one of the few because definitely the interest for investing has recently dropped a lot, which is so counterintuitive because when the markets are booming, everybody wants to get in and obviously capitalize on the gains and wants to invest and even pays. It doesn't matter what kind of price because they think it's going to grow forever. But in fact, we've seen uh, that isn't the case. And now the markets are dropping. People are scared. And even those people who invested before a lot are now not touching any kind of investments and the searches across internet, Google Trends, etc., are all down. So that really shows me that those investors are really not serious investors because I truly believe that those who are really serious investors for the long term, they don't really mind if it's a bear market, a bull market. It's just a good opportunity to buy. And uh, that's what I've been continuing to do. And if you're watching this, then I really appreciate you and it shows me that you are serious about building your wealth long term. And especially the fact that we've now recently seen Elon Musk even coming out and saying that he plans to cut 10% of uh, Tesla's payroll because he expects, he has a feeling that things may get worse from here. And I do have the same feeling. I think it's going to get much worse before it's going to get any better. We've got to see in China that I think over 10,000 ministers came together for an emergency meeting to revive the economy because obviously with the shutdown of uh, Shanghai and other major cities, uh, we have seen a major drop in their business output over the last few months. And now it's interesting to see how they're going to come back from this. And if China starts going down, we're all going to have a big issue and impact in the world economy for sure. So we're still very much in bear market territory. And personally, I think it's going to play out for the whole year. Um, but again, as I said, I'm a long term investor, so I'm going to keep on buying into my favorite asset classes. And that's exactly what I want to talk to you about. And that's the power of passive income. Passive income is supposed to be passive, right? And that's something that's paid to you depending on the frequency. It can be daily, monthly, quarterly. There are various options of the frequency. You can choose that and depending on your investment class. But usually I prefer daily or monthly because then I can better forecast and project my income. Now, the word passive is a little bit misleading because I honestly think there's nothing really truly passive. It is less active, let's call it, but nothing in the world is really ever passive. At the minimum, you need to check in regularly with your investments. Or in the case of YouTube, right? I mean, yes, I'm getting ad money passively, but if I would stop making videos, I wouldn't get any money in the future anymore. Same with dividends or staking rewards. Yes, they pay to you passively, but that may change, right? We've seen Crypto.com who overnight changes their staking reward program. The same is true for dividends. I mean, we've seen companies in difficult times just stop paying dividends because it's not a guarantee, right? It's something they choose and talk about every quarter, but they don't have to. They want to continue, ideally, to stay attractive, but they don't need to continue. So that's also not a given. And that's why I also think it's so important to diversify your passive income classes because some people say, okay, I have a passive income. Uh, it's my side hustle. It's my one thing that makes me money, which is great, right? But again, nothing in life is guaranteed. So that one thing may stop working one day and then you're going to be left with nothing. Only relying on your income, I think it's too little in these times because even your job, you may be fired, right? So I really believe in diversifying your sources of income. So you're kind of hedging your risk for whatever may happen. And who knows, we've seen bear markets being in place for two or three years. So this may take much longer than we're thinking, right? right now right so currently for me i have four passive income sources and i'm going to run you through all of them and tell you how much exactly i made last month just to give you an idea where i'm standing at the moment and this is something i've been really working hard on recently i didn't have this in the past so now i realize the importance of this and i want to make sure this is going to continue to grow going forward every single month so starting with the first one this is crypto staking rewards and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite passive income sources and basically what it is is getting interest paid on my cryptocurrency so that's what you used to be getting in your bank account when you kept your money there and they would pay you an interest rate that no longer is the case so now I put my crypto to work. I leave it at an exchange. I use Nexo. Nexo is probably now one of the exchanges that pays the highest staking rewards across the board from most cryptocurrencies with the least amount of risk. So really, really love that. My Bitcoins are getting 7% interest per year pay to me daily. So that's really, really amazing. On my Polygon, I'm getting 14% interest. So that's incredible. Paid every single day and even on my euro. So now I transfer my fiat money from my bank to my Nexo. And just by keeping it there in cash, basically, I get 8% paid to me every single day. So I absolutely love it. So in total, I have around 36,000 in Nexo holdings now. So with that, I made last month a grand total of around 140 euros in staking awards, which, you know, is not something to fully live off, but still it's something if I had kept that money at the bank, I would have gotten zero so as i'm planning to continue investing and grow my crypto holdings in the future i think that number will grow up and that's really my aim to get there so my next goal will be to get 300 euros in passive income every single month so that will be a nice addition definitely if you want to start using nexo then please use the link in the description below 
and you're gonna get $25 worth of Bitcoin. Next up, we have my YouTube income. Now, obviously I'm still a tiny channel, though I appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't have imagined to already be over one and a half K a couple of months after starting. So really, uh, thank you for all of you. But yeah, with small channel comes small views and with small views comes small money. But still, I appreciate every single euro. The first time I got a paycheck from Google, I was amazed because in the past I used to pay to Google uh, monthly subscriptions, etc. So really, really grateful for every single euro I get there. So last month was actually only my second full month of being monetized on YouTube, meaning that you can qualify for getting ad revenue. So in the second month, I already made 220 euros. So that's up from the first month where it was just around 120, 130 euros. And that's in summer in the bear market where views are obviously down. So really, honestly, not too bad. Now, is it enough to quit and buy my Ferrari? Definitely not. But I also didn't start the channel based on this assumption. So, you know, it's a nice addition, a nice tip for putting out value, but that's more interesting for me. So I'm going to keep on doing this. But of course, when you look at the revenue per million views, the RPM, which is an important indicator. Finance is obviously doing much better than many entertaining channels or gaming channels. So this is a really nice addition that despite the few views I'm getting, I'm still getting actually some decent money from it. And at this stage, I'm reinvesting all that money into the channel. My plan is to buy new microphones, potentially new cameras in the future, just to upgrade and make content delivery so much better for you guys. The best way you can help to grow the channel is keep on watching, hitting this like button. And now actually YouTube added also a little tipping function. So when you see the thanks button down below the video, if you hit it, you can actually donate and say a little thanks, which honestly, I really appreciate, but don't feel obliged. So yeah, obviously I'm gonna keep on working on my YouTube income. It's definitely not passive. On the contrary, I think it's very active because I spend a lot of hours every single week to you know record these videos, script them, think about them, edit them, upload them. It really takes time. So if I break this money down per hour worked, it's actually probably less than minimum salary. So yeah, while it sounds interesting and lucrative and who wouldn't want a little extra money, it really is time intensive. If I really did a cost benefit analysis on it, um, it wouldn't be the smartest decision at this stage. But like in investing, I played the long term. So hopefully in the future, it's gonna only continue to grow. My next source of passive income is affiliate marketing. And that's something I've always been reading about it, but never really quite got it. Why should people use your link to buy certain things? Somehow it seemed a little bit dodgy to me. I never really believed the hype that people made hundreds of thousands a year of affiliate marketing. I mean, that just sounds too good to be true. But now having done it myself, actually even before monetization, because this is something you can start even with your family, right? If they want to buy you a gift, you just basically send an affiliate link. They use that link and you're going to get a kickback. So that's really, really nice and a way to make easy money. So I said, okay, I'll give it a go. Because actually I found myself buying stuff through influencers or people that I follow what they recommend. And the great thing with affiliate marketing is both of you will win, right? Because usually with that link, you're going to get a better deal and the person sending the link is going to get a kickback out of it. So it's a win-win scenario because I don't like to promote something where you're going to pay a premium. But if both of us will gain in the process, hey, why not? And obviously a lot of people promote the Amazon links, etc. But I really focus on finance. So that's why my channel is all around finance. And I wanted to promote finance tools that I use myself that I can really recommend and stand by with my name. And this is basically all the links that you see in the description below when you open the box you will have those links so if you click any of those i will get a little kickback out of it but you in turn will obviously benefit from it as well so last month alone with affiliate links i made 240 euros which honestly is really really amazing but obviously i still have to produce content i mean others write a blog or do a podcast so there are other ways of content delivery but you have to have something to get those eyeballs so people see it and then obviously like the content like the tool and then click on it and then hopefully convert and you know you get a kickback out of it so you see affiliate marketing is really powerful i made more than YouTube with my affiliate links and a big thanks for every single one of you who has used my link in the past. And if you haven't yet, you know what to do. And my last passive income source at the moment are dividends. Though last month I haven't received any dividend payments. And the thing with dividends, most of my dividends are actually paid quarterly. But there are different companies out there and some of them paying on a monthly basis. So that depends on which dividend stocks you're buying. So yeah, last month I didn't get any dividend and most likely it's going to come in July. But having said this, probably of all my passive income sources, dividends currently is still my smallest because I'm also not a big dividend stock buyer. But I do have obviously my ETF paying me a couple of individual stocks, which is great, right? It's a nice addition, which I do appreciate. Those staking rewards are going to be significantly higher as I also plan to invest more in it rather than dividend stocks in the future. So yeah, all in all, last month, just about 600 euros, which honestly is not bad at all for just getting started. Obviously, I plan to grow this significantly more in the future. I would love to, of course, one day have a sponsor on the show that would generate a lot of additional income, maybe some merchandise or e-shop in the future. That'd be awesome as well. And there are different ways for you and your industry. Even I think things like driving 
like Uber car, food delivery after work, you know, to get you started while you study or start your first job. I mean, you all have extra time. So use that time wisely. Start building up a second income, third income, passive income. There's so many different ways. And then you can use this additional money to start investing and let that money work for you. And then it doesn't really matter if you're in a bull market or bear market, you're going to get this passive income regularly. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. As always, stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.